We've had a, yet another massacre, uh, this time at a movie theater uh, in Lafayette, Louisiana. I, I know you oppose uh, greater restrictions uh, on gun control, um, but what more can the government be doing uh, to make sure that guns are not falling into the hands of people with obvious uh, mental and emotional problems? And I think we have the laws in place. Enforcement of those laws is what uh, seems to be lacking both in, uh, uh, in Charleston and uh, here in Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, we see individuals who were obviously uh, mentally impacted. Uh, these were individuals who uh, I think that somewhere uh, somebody didn't do their job in the standpoint of enforcing the laws that are only on the book. Uh, I will suggest to you that these uh, concepts of gun-free zones uh, are a bad idea. Uh, I think that uh, you allow the citizens of this country who have been appropriately trained, appropriately backgrounded, uh, know how to handle and use firearms to carry them. I don't know that a law would have kept a gun out of the hand of the shooter. In, uh, in Lafayette, but you seem to be suggesting that, that a, a solution to the problem would be to allow patrons in the movie theater to bring guns with them into the movie theater. I think that it makes a lot of sense uh, to send the message across this country. Uh, if, we, if, if we believe in, this, in, in the Second Amendment and we believe in people's right to protect themselves and to defend themselves and their families, uh, that to tell them that they cannot carry a weapon that they are legally uh, obliged to carry, that they have been through the training for, makes sense to me. That makes more sense than trying to keep the gun out of the hand of the person who had been involuntarily committed to begin with? I didn't say, I didn't say that there's one more important than the other. Okay. I've, I shared with you, I think that the laws are on the books to, uh, to keep individuals, uh, you know, obviously, uh, I think that's what's happened in, in these two cases. And we need to enforce the laws that are on the books.